This month, I challenged myself to walk two miles every single day. But why? To answer this question, we have to go back a little bit. If you guys don't know me, my name is Lisa, and in March of 2022, I had weight loss surgery. Since that day, I've been steadily losing weight, but I entered my first plateau recently. Plateaus are really normal for weight loss surgery. I've talked to my surgeon about it and she said at six months post-op, it's pretty common to have a plateau. And one of the best things that you can do for a plateau is to change up your exercise routine. And so I figured that adding an extra little bit of cardio in my day by walking two miles every single day will help me break my plateau. I have also heard that walking is one of the best forms of exercise for weight loss. So I'm really curious to see if this is gonna help me break through my plateau and to see if I'm going to lose any more weight or any more inches and just kind of compare this month to my other months post-op. So I'm pretty excited about this. I don't think that walking two miles every day is going to be really physically challenging for me, but I think that doing it every single day might be a little bit challenging because there are some days where I'm just lazy and I don't want to get up. I don't want to, you know, move my body, but it is healthy for me. And I think that this challenge will definitely push me towards my goals. But before we get into day one of walking, I think it's only fair to show you guys oh, what I'm working with now. So I'm going to give you guys a brief overview of my body. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is really embarrassing, but this is my body. It's not terrible. I can't move my arm out. I definitely have a little bit of a gut. That's what it is. In the back. The side. Day one of my walking challenge. And if you guys thought that I was doing this alone, I'm not is joining me. Hello. Been joining me on all these walks. I got a really late start today. I started at like nine, so it's a bit hot. We're half a mile in. We made it! Day one is in the books. It took me 44 minutes to walk two miles. It'll be interesting to see if my time increases at the end of this. Day four! My motivation to go on this walk was underwhelming to say the least. I didn't even change out of my scrubs yet. I was just like, let's get this done. It is a Wednesday, which means it's right in the middle of the week and I'm just trying to survive until Friday. Um, I weighed myself this morning and no change, so no breakthrough in the scale yet, but I'm hoping soon. Moose is always still doing well. He's really enjoying this challenge. Of course, as soon as I turn on the camera, a dog decides to bolt out of its front door and try to attack me and Moose. I am not built for this life. I need to be vigilant at all times. I did today's walk in 41 minutes, so I'm getting faster. Guys, it is day 11, and I'm just starting my walk. I can honestly say the first three days of starting any sort of exercise routine is the hardest, just motivating yourself to get up and go when you're tired. It's really hard and then you kind of enter into this little realm where you're really excited to do the exercise, you want to go out and just get it done and that's how I've been feeling. And then day nine, there was that thunderstorm and I couldn't go out and do my walk and now I'm having to redo that motivation all over again, which kind of sucks because, you know, habits are so easily broken. So it took me a little bit to get out the last two days, but I'm doing better and I got out here. I'm gonna finish my walk. It's gonna be good. Thank you. 
spring's coming. Day 17 of this challenge. I'm halfway through. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't go on my walk yesterday. I have not been feeling good at all. When I got home from work, I literally fell asleep on the couch and I woke up and it was like 7.30. So I just showered and went to bed. Um, and I didn't really feel like going on my walk today, but I couldn't do it two days in a row. So I had to come out here for about almost a mile in. No real updates. I didn't really lose any weight this week, which I'm okay with because last week I lost five pounds. So that was really good. I'm just gonna stick with it. Make sure my food is on track and keep going with my walks. since I started this challenge. It's actually been about a week and a half more than 30 days. I'm just now getting around to filming this outro. I really enjoyed this challenge. Um, like I said at the beginning, I didn't really think it would be very physically challenging because I am used to walking, but doing it every single day would be kind of like a commitment challenge and it definitely was that. But now I feel like it has turned into a habit. I have still continued to walk two miles every single day. I love my time after work walking with my dog. I feel like it's just, I just feel like it's the perfect way to end the day. I can collect all my thoughts, kind of go through the whole day in my head, just reflect on what I can do better tomorrow and just have a little bit of me time. So I've really enjoyed this challenge. It's by far my favorite challenge I've ever done. And um, I'm definitely gonna continue walking. Some things that happened over the 30 days that were really cool was when I first started this challenge, I was walking two miles in, I believe 45 minutes, which is kind of a long time to take for a walking. Um, I am a slow walker. And then I just got back from a two mile walk today and my time was 39 minutes. So I definitely have shaved off a, a lot of time in my walking, I'm getting, I'm having a lot more endurance when walking. I'm getting faster. I feel like I could walk way longer than two miles, that's for sure. Another thing that happened was weight loss. I know that's what everyone wants to know. How much weight did I lose? What happened? At the beginning of this video, I told you that one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this challenge is because I kind of hit a plateau in my weight loss journey and I was hoping that switching things up would help me lose weight. And it definitely worked. Um, I broke through my plateau and you guys saw I finally hit Wonderland, which is really exciting. If you guys don't know what Wonderland is, it's when you get out of the 200 pounds and into the 100 pounds. So that was a huge, huge milestone in my weight loss journey and I couldn't be more excited about that. I didn't lose like a significant amount of weight this month. I lost eight pounds, but I didn't really change any of my eating habits. Um, I'm already eating pretty healthily, and so the only thing that I switched up was the walking, and I lost eight pounds, which I'm really happy about because I was in a plateau for like three weeks. So the fact that all I did was, you know, switch up my walking a little bit and I lost eight pounds, I am really excited about it. I'm gonna show you guys my body right now, what it looks like after 30 days of walking, and if I can figure out how to do like a little side-by-side -side thing during editing, I will. Um, I'm not the best editor, so no promises. <laughs> There's definitely eight pounds missing though. So I'm really happy about it. I feel really good and I really can't complain about anything. Yeah, this journey was really fun and I think I'm gonna start doing a little bit more challenges on this channel. So if you guys like this video, then please subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.